Good morning. It is 9 a.m. and we're just checking out of our accommodation here on this farm. It's been really nice here despite all this crappy weather. <laughs> it's like raining right now and we're leaving so early because we're actually trying to go and see some puffins which I am so excited for. <laughs> Apparently though they don't really come out in the wind so I don't know we'll see how it goes. It's like an hour-ish drive to the point. It's the same place we went to the other day and we're gonna do like a short walk because apparently that's the best place to see it is like along the cliffside but yeah we'll just see if they're gonna be there or not but i don't know because uh, um kids was doing some research on it and they mostly come out in the morning and then they spend all day at sea they're kind of like penguins they're basically penguins that can fly and so like one half will go to out to sea and the others will stay in on land and looking after the pufflings so i don't know we'll just we'll see what happens but i gotta get ready in the car do my hair and makeup and stuff because we're in sort of a rush to get ready this morning so let me uh fix this and then i'll get back to you yeah that's better percy let's go find your family now we're at Donaldinley again, whatever it's called. Um, the place with the black beach and that. And we're here to just see if we can see some puffins. It's really rainy outside though, so hopefully you can see them. Um, I don't think it's meant to ease up for a few hours, so we're just going to go and, I don't know, find them, hopefully. No point waiting for the rain to pass when it's not going to. And we're going to go find Percy's family. He needs to say goodbye to his family before he comes on the rest of the trip. He's excited to go on the trip. He just wants to say goodbye to his family. It is very windy, rainy, muddy, slippery, rocky. It's not very good, very good hiking weather. But I think we'll just go up to these rocks here and see what we find. So the rain got worse and the wind got worse as we got up further. So we just decided to come back. I think the rain's meant to let up later. So we might come back because um, we wanted to go into Vic anyway and check some things out there, go to a shop and you know, whatever. So we might come back a little bit later if the rain and wind lets up. I think Sally said that I told her that puffins don't really come out in the wind, I think is what I read. They're not very strong flyers, so that could be why. It's not the rain, because they live in the water, but I think they're not strong flyers. Iceland fun fact. May is meant to be the driest month in all of Iceland. It has like the lowest average rainfall, even though you wouldn't be able to tell it um, from our time here. I think we picked a really bad week to be here. We're back in Vic, and we're going to this place called the Wool Factory, or the Iceware, ice, I don't know, some wool factory in Vic, big um, wool shop and souvenir shop in Vic. And so just be careful that some of it's not Icelandic made, but it should be tagged saying what is and what isn't Icelandic made. And this is the big old wool store that we're about to go into. There's also a supermarket and a cafe in here. This is the wool shop. The other thing was a souvenir shop. It's so nice, the Icelandic wool sweaters. Is this where it says that it's made in Iceland? I don't know. I have a feeling this one isn't. We've got some Viking snacks, dried fish snacks. Hard fish skin. It smells so fishy. Mm. It smells better than it tastes. It smells like if you cut open a fish or something. It tastes okay. So the place we were two days ago, um, up on the hill where it was really foggy and we couldn't see anything, we're back here. Um, the rain sort of not as bad up here actually. It was really rainy as we're coming up, but as we got up, it's not that bad and it's a lot clearer. So you meant to be able to see puffins from up here if you walk down a little bit. And at least we got a view compared to last time, so that's something. It does look incredibly windy because I'm looking at people and they look like they're almost blowing off the cliff, so you better be careful. But at least it's not raining too bad. So this is how foggy it was up here last time. I didn't even know there was a lighthouse. We couldn't even see that far. It is incredibly windy though. I really, really wish I bought that sweater before that I was looking at in the wool shop.
Iceland fun fact, uh, about 60% of the world's Atlantic puffin population live here. It's about 6 million of them. And unfortunately we haven't seen one of them. Um, I think they're more active in the mornings and at night because during the day they fly out to sea to fish and whatnot and they come back in the evening. Um, and yeah, they don't really like wind too much, I believe. And they sort of say burrowed. So, unfortunately we didn't see any. A um, little bit sad. The only puffin we've seen is Percy. Percy's all the puffin we need. So I think behind that cloud is where that volcano is meant to be. The one that erupted in 2010 and also that ash that shut all the flights down in Europe. Eyjafjallajökull, whatever it is pronounced. No one can pronounce that except if you're Icelandic. Fortunately it's way too cloudy to actually see it. But I think it's meant to be behind the cloud. It looks kind of volcanic up there. Skuggy Hotel for our last two nights. This room's so much smaller than the other one and normally I wouldn't care and I'd just be like, oh, it's a nice room. But I've experienced luxury and <laughs> this is terrible. We're gonna end the vlog here. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the Golden Circle and explore a little bit of Reykjavik as well. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.